Hey guys, Aaron. Today we're gonna to go beyond SketchUp Desktop and take a look at the SketchUp Forum. So if you regularly comment or just come into uh, the, the comments on YouTube, that sort of thing, you've probably once or twice seen somebody suggest, maybe somebody from our team, maybe somebody from our channel, suggest that you take a question over to the forum. So what does that mean? Well, first thing it means is going to forums.sketchup.com. That's the forum. That When we talk about the forum, that's the SketchUp forum. It's the official SketchUp forum. It's run by the Trimble staff. Uh, it's up here on the up here behind me. Um, I want to take a look though. What does it mean to go to the SketchUp forum? So I want to talk about going on there. I want to talk about looking around. I want to talk about signing up and getting the most out of what is an amazing tool. So let's hop in. So the SketchUp forum, like I said, it is owned and operated by staff, by by us SketchUp people, Trimble people. Um, but we're not the only ones who post on it. We have, I can't remember how many tens of thousands of people vote or, or post on this a week, but it's a lot. And there are a handful of people who are just regular users like you. I said you almost said you and me, but I guess I don't get to consider myself. I'm an outcast from you awesome users because uh, of my job. But yeah, check it out because uh, people get on there all the time, answer questions for other users. It is an incredibly vibrant forum. I've talked about this before. I've been on other SketchUp, or not other SketchUp, but other software forums that are dead, right? You go onto these, some of these forums and it's just nothing. Nobody goes on there. Somebody posts, you know, once a month an answer to a question. There's, there's questions on there that haven't even been looked at for weeks. Not here. You can actually see this This stuff is, as I just started talking, somebody just updated a new topic. This is a place where we get a lot, a lot of, of interaction. A lot of people post. We have a group of people called Sages who are people who spend hours of their day every day just answering questions, which is absolutely amazing. They're volunteers. They're here just to help you. Uh, it's just a great, great group of great community. So I'm not going to talk it up anymore. It's a great spot to get questions answered. Say that. Enough said. Okay, so first thing I want to point out is when you come in here, you're going to get something that looks like this. It says sign up or log in because I'm, I'm here and I haven't logged in before. Uh, you're going to get a list of questions here. To view a question, you just click on it. But I just want to go a little bit further than that real quick. You can come over here to categories. And you can actually see what categories you're looking at. So if I have a specific category I want to look at, I can go into that one specific category. So if I only want to see layout stuff, I can click on layout and that's just going to give me just layout posts. One of the things that is, is really you're going to want to do primarily is when you come in here, check out this little, little icon right up here in the upper right corner. That is the search feature. Um, I'm, I'm going to walk you through things you can do before you even come create an account. And you might already be sold. You're like, just tell me how to sign up. Um, I want to recommend something before you just sign up. One is to come in here and read a few posts. You know, just read some, some stuff that's in here. See what's going on with people, what, the, what kind of questions they're asking, what kind of information they're posting. Uh, go check that out. Also, I'm saying this because if you go in and the first thing you do is sign up, then it's going to flag your account and go, this person didn't even look at a single thing and they just signed up. And unfortunately, that's what spammers do. So it's not a bad thing. It just means you have to wait until somebody on our staff goes and red, you know, green lights your your uh, status so you can post. But if you come in here and take a look at a couple of posts first, I want you to do this too because I want you to see how it's a good thing to join. So I do recommend, like I said, come in here and search. Even if you are signed up, before you go posting a brand new question, I recommend using search. Come in here and say, uh, you know, um, uh, how does auto text work? And I'm set up to search in layout. So I'm gonna just go ahead and hit enter. And it's gonna give me all the posts that have to do with auto text. And I can come in here and I can fine tune that. I can hit these little, little slider bars over here, which is to come in and say, give me the, the latest post in this topic. Um, that sort of thing. And it's gonna say, here's all the text, or here's all the posts that are related to this. So then I can come in here and I can actually see what is being talked about with this specific topic. All the posts, all the, all the topics in here are time coded so I can see when this post is from. Um, 
this is an older topic, but I can actually see that and I can read what's going on with this. So absolutely come in here before you do anything else, check what's going on. Take, take a look around. Once you're sold, once you know that like, yeah, this is where I want to be, I want to put some stuff in here, you are going to want to sign up. So I'm just going to walk through that real quick. I'm going to go to sign up. So this is the information we need. There's not much here, really. It's pretty simple. Uh, if you want to, you can walk through, put your email address, your username, password, all this information in here, and then you can hit sign up. Or you can click this little thing over here, which is going to let you sign up with your current SketchUp information. So when you click on here, it's going to actually go prompt you for your Trimble ID and password and let you sign in right there. I would recommend using this rather than creating, uh, you know, just this, I don't know, I was gonna say vanilla, blank, I don't know what you want to call it, but this, this standard mess over here, Let's log in with this because this actually connects it to the license that Trimble already has for you. It knows who you are, it knows what you're using, that kind of thing. So this would be the preferred way to log in. Okay, so regardless of how you do log in, you are gonna have to fill in this information. So in here, I'm gonna have a username. This username does have to be unique. I can't have the same username as anybody else, obviously. And that's gonna prompt you for a password. You are gonna be asked for a name. It is optional, but this is kind of nice because this kind of gives a little bit of personal thing, right? So other users can see, they can't see your email, they can't see your password, they'll see your username, and they can see what your name name is. And this just gives people to be a little, so rather than calling me the other Aaron, they can just call me Aaron. The most important part of this entire sign up though is right here. Make sure you put this information in here. Put in what is your license type? Are you running a Go Pro Studio, uh, an educational type? Um, put in the type you're actually using because this is going to help people help you. If they don't know the information about what you're running, then it's really hard to tell you what you should do to make things better. Same thing for the, the version. This is a little bit tricky because sometimes you might actually be using a web version plus desktop or iPad. There's multiple versions you might be using, but I would just recommend put down the ones that, that you use most often, right? So I, I use SketchUp and iPad, so I'm gonna put those two in there. Operating system, again, you only have, it's a text field, so uh, put in your main operating system. So in this case, uh, I use a Mac, so this is Sonoma, so I'm just gonna put that most recent version in. If you wanna go in and put the exact numbers into, that can be helpful if you end up with a real technical problem, but at least an idea here, uh, if nothing else, Windows or Mac. And beyond that, what version of that operating system really does help. And then your graphics card. There's a lot of issues that come up with graphics. Graphics cards, there's so many drivers out there for different graphics cards that it can really cause an issue. So try to get the information available to you. Uh, something, get something in here. Don't just put yes. That's not funny. It might sound cute to you right now, but it's really not. So uh, yeah, get that information in there. This is super important. This helps people help you. If you don't have this information, you come in and ask a question. It's likely the first question that will come back is, okay, what version are you actually running? What kind of machine are you actually on? And this seems like a graphics issue. What actual graphics card are you using? So put something in. If you don't know your exact graphics card and can't find out exactly what it is, get some information in here that's gonna help people figure out what's going on. I have a Dell and I'm using the integrated graphics. Uh, I have an HP laptop and I'm using the, you know, put in what you can rather than not putting anything in at all. This is extremely, extremely important. All right, once you do that, you will get a verification email. Clicking the link in the verification email will give you this button right here. Click here to activate. That's just to make sure the email account you gave us is real. That again, prevents spammers. We have a lot of things that are in place to prevent garbage from showing up on the forum. So sometimes it feels like, oh, this is kind of a pain. Why do I have to do this? But if you notice as you go through the forum, you won't see a lot of posts that ask you to, you know, come sign up for this or uh, click here to go to my Facebook page. Like we don't allow that stuff. This is a very secure forum. We work really hard, but it does mean a couple extra steps as you sign up, as you log in. So uh, this is some of that sort of thing. I've activated, I'm finished. I can go here and I can go view the forum. Once I get to this side, a couple things I might want to do here. 
Um, one thing is there is the welcome to our forum. Please introduce yourself. If you click through here, you can create your first post, say who you are, what you do, how you use SketchUp, that sort of thing. People love to say hello. Um, please don't go into this forum and post your first problem and say, I need help with this. That's not what this is for. This is actually for going in and telling people who you are and welcoming, getting welcomed into the forum. Uh, what I do recommend is following this little tutorial right here. I'm going to click got it. And if I come over here and click on this you can see, I got a greeting. If you click on that greeting, it's going to take you in here and it's going to start walking you through a tutorial where it'll actually help you learn how to use the forum. So this is a fun little, just it's a fun little thing to follow along. Uh, and you can kind of just click through and, and it tells you that the more you do, the more access you get. If you do want to modify your profile, if you click up here and click this little, little person head thing here, here's where I can actually go to preferences. And in here, I can actually start filling out the information that I want or modify the information I have here. So if I want to go to my profile, um, I want to, you know, put my information about me, put my links in here, update uh, my information. All of that can be added right here in the forum. Once all that's done, though, this is the good stuff. I'm going to come in here, click new topic. I'm going to post what I want to post about. I'm going to choose the proper category. This is another spot that I really want to stress. It helps keep our forum organized if you spend a few seconds figuring out exactly where this should go. So there are categories and subcategories. So if you're posting something specific to SketchUp Pro, just come down here and click on the SketchUp Pro. Uh, there is specific spots for galleries where you can post your work, 3D printing, advice. And we get into layout. Some of the same feet, so, subs, some of the same subcategories here. Uh, different spot for extensions. Technical problems is a thing that comes up a lot. People post into here anytime they're having a problem doing something. Technical problems is more like uh, SketchUp is just shutting down every time I do a certain thing, or I'm having issues getting validated with my license, or when I go into SketchUp for web, I get a waiting screen, never shows up. That's kind of a technical problem. Something that's computer related, operating system, web system, that sort of stuff. Uh, this isn't necessarily how do I use follow me. That's not a technical problem. That's straight up learning. So yeah, skim through here, check out the different spots you can put. There's a lot of them. And uh, these are all available as well to you to go in and see and sort by uh, so I can see what's going on in these different things. A couple of things to point out. Happenings is where we post stuff that's going on in the SketchUp universe. In-person events as well as online events. That's a good one to check out. And then down here is Meta. I'm just pointing out Meta because Meta is where we talk about the forum in the forum, thus the name. So if you're having an issue, can't figure out how to change your icon from a letter to a picture, that's a sort of question for Meta. But yeah, go ahead and fill that out as you post your first question. Get it in here. The first couple of times you post, you're not going to be able to share a file or post an image. That's something that comes with posting a few times. So get in here, ask a question, ask for help, anything you have issues with, get that in there and uh, let us help you and welcome to the community. All right, so I am, I probably rambled a little bit too much in some of that, but I love our community. Like I mentioned at the beginning, I have gone to a lot of software forums. Most of them are places where people post problems and then that's it. Like I, it's, it's pretty normal to go to a software forum and see a question somebody asked two, three weeks ago with nothing, no response from other community members, no response from staff. It's just where questions go to die. Our forum's not like that. Like I think the average turnaround on a question is somewhere between an hour or two. Um, it doesn't mean all of your problems are going to be solved that quickly. Depending on your question, you might not get to a, a specific answer without a little bit of back and forth with another community member, a sage, or a team member. But do it. Get in there and, and ask those questions. It's a great way to start. So, and, and it can be pretty much, like I said, anything that you run into that you want help with, you need help with, the forum is just an amazing place. After you've posted a couple of times, you can start sharing your files. You can, you know, get in and, and help other people. It is a great spot and it's a great spot to get better at SketchUp and engage in that community. A lot of us sit at our desks by ourselves and don't have people to talk to, to about SketchUp. This is the place to do that. If you liked that video, click like down below. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe. We create several videos each and every week and we've notified of all of them. You will be notified of all of them if you subscribe. 
More importantly, though, let us know what you think. Have you been on the forum? Do you like the forum? Uh, if you haven't, what's stopping you from getting on the forum? Do you have a different idea you think would make a good video like this? Let us know any of that down in the comments. We like making these videos a lot, but we like them even more when they're showing something you want to see. Thank you.